Thank you. Thank you so much for all of your support. I woke up to 36,000 subscribers this morning. And I just wanted to get those words out first and foremost in this video. In this week's project, I'm working with a 9x9x9 nine by nine by about 2.5 inch uh, chunk of mahogany. And it's a real pretty wood with a lot of potential uh, chatoyance or uh, color change in the grain. So I thought making a uh, puzzle design in the base of the bowl, you know, a bunch of puzzle pieces with one piece missing, uh, and then coating the whole bowl with resin, which I've never done before, would really bring out the beauty of this bowl, or this wood, I should say. So I got all the router work done and uh, realized that I had ran out of my favorite resin. So I had to go shopping locally. I went to a local big box store and saw some uh, JB Weld two part resin. And I had a Tim Taylor moment, you know. <laughs> JB Weld has to be good. Well, let me just say, I, I do think it is good, but I made some mistakes with it. And those mistakes basically made this entire project uh, a fail. Now, it turned out nice. It turned out pretty. But, well, you'll see. But my biggest mistake was before pouring the resin I didn't seal the wood and I know mahogany is a very porous wood and it would be causing a lot of bubbles uh, as I was taking the tape off I was kicking myself for not putting some sanding sealer or shellac or just something on there as a barrier between the wood and the resin Another problem, uh, which accentuated the bubbles, was the fact that this was a 30-minute epoxy. <coughs> and some of you are... are uh, <laughs> well, I'm sure that a lot of you know better than to use 30-minute epoxy on a project like this, but... Uh, that's okay. Live and learn. And I promise you, I'm not just going to show you all of my best work. I'm going to show you some failures too. And this counts as one of those. Let's take a look at what some of my very talented subscribers have made recently. Daniel White. These are three beautiful bulls. George Banning. This is a work of art. Amazing. Amazing. Jerry Berryman Sr., former Air Force turn these beauties I want to thank everybody that sends me pictures of their work I really appreciate it this chunk of mahogany is a very light uh, softer wood and using the worm screw to mount this onto my lathe uh, seemed appropriate and it was very stable the entire turn So I start the piece as I normally do, making it round by working on the outside edge and then switching to the bottom of the bowl. As I was turning this uh, part of the bowl, I was thinking, I will never hold it against anybody for wearing a glove uh, when they're turning like this. The shards that come off, especially the little resin pieces, 
Uh, they're sharp and they they come off at a high speed and they hurt. Sharp gouge, no tear out. I was really happy with this. And here I'm just cutting the mortise in the bottom of the bowl. It's shallow, but I need it for reverse mounting onto the four-jaw chuck. And uh, later in the video, I'll be doing something different with the Mortis uh, that turned out pretty good considering the overall failure of the piece. You can see the shavings coming off of that uh, scraper. If you're just getting uh, powder, you probably need to sharpen your scraper. 
again at this point I was very happy with how it was progressing uh, even knowing I, I had bubbles in the resin uh, the wood itself was behaving very nice and I want to point out uh, at this point in in my technique of you know, putting the resin in the base of the bowl this is always kind of exciting And shave away the wood and expose the resin from the other side. It's always a little bit of a mystery. Now I already knew that I had bubbles trapped in the resin, so this was not going to be a perfectly done project. But I still didn't know how the resin was going to look from the other side. You know, if it was going to be uh, a project worth finishing, really. And as it turned out, uh, it was worth finishing, and it is a nice bowl, but it is, in my mind, a fail. And I think you'll agree, those, uh, those bubbles don't look great. But the overall bowl, I think, turned out nice. Now here I've got the bowl spinning on a rotisserie that I've got hooked up to my lathe just to keep it moving so the uh, so the resin uh, doesn't drip. But you might notice that uh, once again I didn't seal the wood before I put the resin on so I made the same mistake twice there. But on top of that we had a bit of an ice storm overnight and the power went out so the rotisserie stopped turning um, and the finish did not turn out perfect I ended up having to to coat it again and uh, well it's a really pretty bowl it is and it taught me a lot I learned a lot from it seal the wood don't use 30 minute epoxy to to fill in the pattern it's good for the uh, coating of the project but if you fill the pattern it's going to trap bubbles all that being said it's a very nice failure <laughs> i appreciate you watching thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't click that button help me grow Semper Fi.